Hi everybody, welcome to Theo and Olaf. My name is Irene, with me is Olaf, our Sammy Yet Doggy. And many of you viewers have asked to see more of Olaf's daily activities, to see what he's really like when he's off screen. So we decided to bring you along and show you a day in the life of Olaf. So our day begins pretty early, around 6.30 to 7 in the morning. Olaf is typically awake before we are. Occasionally, he'll do some sad howling. He'll do this ooh, ooh sound to let us know that he's ready to go. And first thing is we'll give him potty break, and then we make sure to exercise him to get excess energy out. We love using the floor pole. It's a great way for Olaf to run around in circles, to jump around and get all that energy out before we go on our walk. Before we go on our walk, we typically have Olaf settle in his place or in a crate. That way he has a calmer state of mind while we get his equipment, get all the gear, and head out. Our morning walk typically involves going downtown, and we really enjoy this walk because it's scenic, and also there are a lot of steep hills that add for an extra challenge. And Olaf is typically very good walking on a loose leash. Occasionally he will pull if he sees a small animal, like a squirrel or a bunny, and there are a ton of bunnies in this area. And in those situations, we had to tell Olaf to leave it and bring his attention back to us. One thing that we had to be super careful of during our walks is to avoid foxtails. So for those of you who don't know, foxtails are these wheat-like looking plants with these spikes at the top. And they're very dangerous for your dogs. The reason is because they can pierce through your dog's paws, they can go through the skin, and even into their internal organs. So they're very dangerous and we avoid them at all costs. We actually saw one lady bring her dog into a field of foxtails. I don't think she was aware, but we were very concerned for that dog. So always be on the lookout for foxtails. Our walk downtown usually involves going to our final destination, which is the coffee shop. And before we go to the coffee shop, we have Olaf do a series of push-ups. Uh, that way it burns off excess energy before he sees dogs and other people. Inside the coffee shop, Olaf typically settles pretty quickly. We tell him to go down, to stay in place. And usually there's a lot of hubbub going on, a lot of people talking, people waiting in line. But uh, with a lot of treats and praise, Olaf does pretty well. Occasionally we'll see other dogs at the coffee shop, and Olaf is a little bit more triggered when seeing them. But if the dogs are calm and they don't bark, then Olaf can also settle pretty quickly. After our walk, we bring Olaf back and we have him settle in his crate. Usually he needs an ice pack like this because he's uh, hot after walking. And then we just have our breakfast while Olaf chills. Um, after we're done eating, we feed Olaf and then he's back to resting. So in the morning, Olaf is pretty sleepy as you see here. Right before lunchtime, we'll give Olaf a break to play in our backyard. And previously I would take Olaf out on a walk during lunchtime, but it got to be too much for me. Um, so now that we have a backyard, it's very helpful. We'll play fetch, we'll have Olaf chase us, and just everything to burn off his excess energy. After our lunch, uh, Olaf will just chill either in his crate, in his cot, or in my office. Um, he does get a little bit antsy come three or four, and it can be a little bit difficult navigating remote work while having Olaf because sometimes I can't finish until later in the afternoon. But sometimes I'll give him a break mid-afternoon, I'll give him a chew, we'll play like a quick game of find it, and that will help make him feel less bored. Then around 4.30 and 5 is when he's out for another walk. So our evening walks typically involve going to a local park. The parks here are typically in the forest, so they're very scenic and very pleasant. And occasionally we will do some training in the evening. Um, Olaf struggles a lot with uh, being calm, especially in new environments. So sometimes when we take him out of the car, he's very amped up and won't focus on us. So now we're doing some training where once we arrive at a destination in the car, we have him settle in the car before we let him out. So if we open the door, he's already chatty, very angsty, we'll just close the door on him. We'll open it again, and if he's finally quiet, then we'll let him out. And once he's out of the car, we wanna make sure that he focuses on us and isn't too distracted or talkative. The minute he starts barking, we put him back in the car, close the door, and reset and try again. So usually this type of training for us takes about 10 to 15 minutes for, for Olaf to calm down. But once he gets the idea that, hey, he needs to be calm before going out, then he's rewarded with exploring and walking through the new environment. 
After our evening walk or training session, I have to make sure to really brush out Olaf, especially if he has nature on top of his fur. We gotta make sure to get all that stuff out, but also we're very wary of any bugs that might be on him. So brushing, uh, it really helps. I don't really do a full brush, but I do his top coat just to get that junk out. At night, we'll have our dinner, and then afterward, Olaf will have his. As of late, Olaf has been more of a picky eater, uh, so it's been taking more convincing for him to eat his food. We'll do a little bit more of a song and dance to really encourage him to eat, make eating more exciting. Um, and then afterward, Olaf will typically chill and either uh, play with a sniff toy, play with some other toys. Sometimes it gets really antsy in the night and he'll reach up on top of his crate to grab some toys. He'll bring a toy towards the door indicating he wants to play outside again. So usually we have to give him another play session in the evening to bring out his energy. But afterward, he'll calm down. And then the highlight of Olaf's evening is his dental chew. He loves his uh, dental chews from Bark Bright and he salivates over them. And that's the one thing that Olaf is super excited about consistently. So usually we'll have him wait a little bit while we squeeze out the gel into his stick and then we calm over and he's just so excited to chew it. And these chews are great for cleaning Olaf's teeth. Around 11 o'clock at night, Olaf is ready to go to bed. So we'll typically give him his final potty break, make sure that he's pooped if he hasn't done so already before that. And then usually Olaf will wait by his crate for his ice pack. We'll give him his ice pack and that means it's his best time and the day is over for Olaf. So that's it for a day in the life of Olaf. Obviously each day can look different depending on his health how we're doing, what the weather is like, but hopefully this gave a honest and realistic depiction of what it's like to own a Sammy. As you can tell, owning a Sammy requires a lot of hard work. They need a lot of exercise, a lot of training, and just a lot of uh, time spent with you. Um, but there are fun benefits to it as well. Um, Olaf can be very silly and very fun to play with as well. So if you're thinking of owning a Sammy, hopefully this is very useful for you. And if you do own a Sammy already, let me know if your daily routine looks similar to ours. Um, if there's anything in particular too you want to see about Olaf or about his life, let me know what you want to see in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.